This is a third stimulus check update. I'll give you the latest on what is happening with your $1,400 stimulus check. Big banks such as Wells Fargo and Chase are withholding millions of stimulus checks from their customers. And some people are reporting stimulus checks going into wrong bank accounts. I'll give you the latest details on what's happening there. The Get My Payment tool is officially live, but for most people saying payment status not available, for some saying direct deposit coming on March 17th. Nancy Pelosi talks about the next stimulus package with a potential fourth stimulus check in it. Democrats are pushing for recurring stimulus checks. I'll play the clip of exactly what she said, then I'll answer the questions you leave for me in the comments. I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you appreciate these straight to the point updates, then hit the like button down below. Quick COVID update. So President Biden is expanding vaccine eligibility for everyone 18 and older by May 1st, which means that we could have small gatherings on the 4th of July. So things might be a little different over the next few months. And Dr. Fauci is urging former President Trump to tell supporters to be vaccinated. For whatever reason, he's saying that Republicans are the ones who are the least vaccinated. He said it would be a very helpful effort for that to happen. I'm very surprised by the number of Republicans who say they won't get vaccinated. He says, I think it would make all the difference in the world if Trump were to express support for vaccines. He's a widely popular person among Republicans. Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, do you think that if former President Trump said, hey, let's get vaccinated, that the vaccine numbers would rise among Republicans or people in general? Let me know your thoughts on that down in the comments below. Let's talk about stimulus checks now. So stimulus checks are continuing to go out via direct deposit. Here's what we know so far. So on Friday, we got reports saying that direct deposits were coming out, actually going into people's bank accounts. It was being withheld from certain banks. I'll give you those details in a moment. Also, we don't know anything about paper checks or the debit cards when exactly they're going out. My prediction is on March 24th, next Wednesday is probably when we'll see paper checks being mailed out and it could take two to four weeks like it did last time, but that's just my prediction. We don't know exactly yet when that's going to happen. The Get My Payment tool is working, sort of. I'll give you more details on that. First, here's a quick update from Elon Moy uh, talking more about stimulus checks. Well, good morning, Becky. The stimulus payments started showing up in bank accounts over the weekend, and they'll continue to roll out over the next few days. In a letter to staff obtained by CNBC, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen forecasts that the money, along with the rest of that $1.9 trillion COVID relief package, would end up juicing the job market. It said, we are now charting a very different course out of this crisis compared to the one a decade ago. Rather than a long, slow recovery, I expect we could reach full employment by as soon as next year. Now, the first stimulus payments will go to those who have direct deposits set up with the IRS. Paper checks will start going out by the end of this month, and some households would also receive prepaid debit cards instead. Now, Treasury started testing that out in the first round of payments a year ago. There's been a lot of concern about some of the fees that unbanked households have to pay to access their money. An analysis by the Brookings Institution found that the cost rate Range from about $8 to as much as $195 for a family of five. But guys, the challenge with the prepaid cards is that some people thought it was a scam and they didn't activate it right away. So officials say that the real card is a visa and that the envelope would prominently display the Treasury Department seal. And just a reminder, this is what the EIP debit card envelope looks like on the outside. So this is what it'll look like. So if you get this over the next few weeks, do not throw this out. Even if you got direct deposit, you may receive a debit card or paper check, but this is what the debit card looks like here. Let's talk about Wells Fargo and Chase not processing stimulus payments until Wednesday. So this is causing a lot of problems because you have other banks like Chime who are giving money right away. People actually got money into their bank accounts on Friday, this past Friday. Uh, but for most, it seems like it's going to be on Wednesday the 17th. So if you haven't gotten your stimulus check yet, note that you don't need to panic yet. It's not nothing to worry about. They're still putting out direct deposits probably over the next few weeks. But I thought it was interesting here, Chime, one of the digital bank accounts, essentially what they're doing is they're fronting the money. They're taking their own money and saying, we see a direct deposit is coming into someone's account. So we're gonna use our own money to put it into the account. And then when the stimulus check money comes, then they take that money. So they're kind of fronting the money. Uh, this is a tweet from Chime, one of the digital banks, saying, Stimmy Alert, we've already made 600 million available to 250,000 members. These payments will be available at traditional banks 
on March 17th, but Chime members already have access and more on its way. Uh, I think this is genius marketing for Chime and the other digital banks to grab up market share from these big bulky banks that are taking way too long to get stimulus checks. Uh, also, there has been reports of stimulus checks going to the wrong bank accounts according to the get my payment tool so when this happened the first and second time around it was because of people using tax prepare companies this time around they're not really sure why it's going into the wrong bank accounts the irs has not commented on this saying what's happening uh, so far things with uh, the tax prepare companies it seems that they fixed the issues with that but i'm not really sure uh, according to these reports they're not sure why the money is going into wrong bank bank account so far and this is the get my payment tool so if you haven't checked it out yet check it out you just go to the get my payment tool uh, it's on the IRS website make sure you do it through the IRS website so it's not a scam people could get your information otherwise but if you click get my payment you click OK you're gonna have to type in some sensitive information social security date of birth street address postal code so that's why it's really important that you make sure it's from the IRS website first uh, also, what people have been saying about the Get My Payment tool is that it's saying, uh, like Wendy Johnson says, the Get My Payment tool is working. It tells me that it's coming on the 17th. Uh, Emily B says, just checked it, says that it's coming Wednesday, uh, the 17th, 2021. Uh, then other people are saying that the Get My Payment tool is saying payment status not available, but most people are saying payment is coming on March 17th. Those are for direct deposits. There has been no mention of anyone in the comments, at least. Let me know down in the comments below what your experience has been. Nobody has said if paper checks were being sent out or debit cards yet through the Get My Payment tool, if it is actually working. Uh, moving on, let's talk about what's happening if there is a fourth stimulus check. So Democrats are saying this crisis is far from over and Democrats are pushing President Biden for recurring stimulus checks. What they said in the letter is, we urge you to include recurring direct payments and automatic unemployment insurance extensions tied to economic conditions in your Build Back Better long-term economic plan. So to be honest, I don't think there is going to be a fourth stimulus check, but the Democrats keep pushing for it. And as long as there is news to report on it, I'll let you know. But if there is no fourth stimulus check, increase in Social Security or student loan forgiveness, I'm most likely not going to cover this next big Build Back Better plan. But here is Nancy Pelosi talking about the plan and what's happening so far. And then I'll answer the questions you leave for me in the comments after she speaks. Let's talk about what comes next. You signaled Friday that major infrastructure legislation is coming next. That's going to require new taxes. Can you keep Democrats united behind a proposal like that and attract any Republican support? Well, we'll see. I mean, the uh, building roads and bridges and water supply systems and the rest has always been bipartisan always been bipartisan, uh, except when they oppose it with the Democratic president, as they did under President Obama, and we had to shrink the package. But nonetheless, hopefully we will have bipartisanship. So I put out the, uh, I called upon my chairs of the committees of jurisdiction to reach out to the Republicans to see what we can do, as we have traditionally done, in a bipartisan way. This is about uh, broadband, it's, it's about water systems, it's about mass transit, it's about good paying jobs all over the country. It's also about schools and housing and the rest, good paying jobs across the country. And not only that, once those jobs are, of building are done, it's about promoting commerce, creating good, so it's a, the goal is to promote good pay, growth, creating good paying jobs as we protect our planet and are fiscally sound. But it is going to take new taxes, right? You say fiscally sound. Well, we'll see. There's some, some fees that spring from certain uh, uh, harbor ta maintenance tax credit, this, that. We'll see. It, I think that some of it uh, uh, needs to be... We'll, we'll look at everything. We'll Let me know what you think about Nancy Pelosi's response to the taxes. Ask two times if this is going to increase taxes. She kind of skirted around the issue, which most likely means we're going to get higher taxes. Let me know what you think about that down in the comments below. Next, I'm going to answer the questions you leave for me in the comments. Crystal Lures asks, my son didn't get the last two stimulus checks. He has no income to file taxes. He's only 18. Is there a way for him to file to get it? If so, where? Uh, so great question. If 
anybody hasn't received any of the stimulus checks and now they're of age because they were 17 before, now they're 18 and they're eligible for their own stimulus check, it's gonna have to file his own tax return. The non-filers tool is not working within the IRS uh, portal. So the way he could do it is if he files a small tax return just to claim any stimulus money from the first or second stimulus check. Even if he didn't make any money, you just claim a small tax return completely free and say however much money is owed to you on line 30. Uh, next question, Kathy Koch asks, has anyone on disability with direct deposit uh, to their bank gotten their stimulus? I have seen uh, comments uh, for, from people saying that they did receive their stimulus checks SSDI on a green dot card as well as other smaller digital banks. It seems to be showing as pending deposit uh, for people with Chase, Wells Fargo, Citi, or some credit unions as well, usually the bigger, bulkier banks that have their own stores, their own fronts, those are the ones that have their pending deposit until the March uh, 17th on Wednesday. Uh, Tim Sinclair asks, any word on the $200 per month Social Security? Nothing yet. Uh, promises have been made, but not kept. And if I find out anything more on that, I'll definitely let you know, hopefully in this next package, but they really should just do that as a standalone bill. Uh, next question, Audrey Good, or actually, sorry, uh, Brittany Holloway asks, with the last two stimulus checks, I didn't receive, any, uh, I didn't receive for my dependents. What will I have to do this time if we're missing a payment? So if you didn't receive any money from the first two stimulus checks, you would have to do claim the recovery rebate credit. So with the third stimulus check, if you don't receive any money for dependents, most likely you're gonna have to wait until you do your taxes at the end of the year, unless the IRS says anything different. I'll keep you updated if they say something different, but a lot of people have had issues with dependents for the first two stimulus checks. Probably gonna happen with the third stimulus check, unfortunately. Uh, next question. Dex P asks, I filed my taxes, but on the IRS website, it shows that I received only uh, it, it says that they're only going off my 2020 taxes or my 2019 taxes for the third stimulus check. So uh, which is the IRS gonna go off of? Whatever they have on file. Even if you filed your 2020 taxes right away, the IRS is a big bulky organization. They may not even get it into their system or use it for third stimulus check information, even if it was filed right away. So honestly, uh, most likely they're gonna use your 2019 taxes potentially your 2020 taxes, but there's no telling with the IRS because of all the taxes going on right now and the stimulus checks, I just think that they are probably backed up. That is all the stimulus news I have for you today. If you want to uh, cheer your day up a bit, here is my daughter Bella's tip of the day. I like guys, I like both feelings, my sticks. We will play. And guys, if, if if you want, if you want to be fashionable, be fashionable. Do whatever you want to do now, now yes. or never. Because never. that if you do it now, you'll you'll do it you'll do and it. you have the experience about it. You'll so that's all I wanted it. to tell for you today. Bye. Bye. And if you want a confidence boost for the day, I highly recommend clicking this video over here. It's on my Wise Vibes channel. It's a few different ways of how to boost your confidence. And if you just believe in yourself, that's just a simple way of saying confidence. So it's more about how to believe in yourself and believe in other areas of your life. So click that video right now and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.